Hey guys, it's raining outside and this is like the third day in a row, so uh, I'm going to do a video today on swapping the stock sights out on my Model 22 Glock and uh, going to be replacing them uh, with these Fiaci night sights. Now these night sights are, uh, they do not contain tr uh, tritium, so you don't have to worry about busting any vials or anything, but uh, I got my tools set up. I don't have the drifting tool that you need to remove the, uh, the back sight, and they're kind of expensive, so I'm just going to use a punch and a hammer. Uh, also the front sight. It takes a 3 16th tool uh, to remove and install and I don't have one of those either but I do have a 3 16th socket that I can grind the walls down and make it thin enough to where it will fit in here so uh, let me get set up and uh, I'll be right back here's my Glock 22 that we're going to, or model 22 that we're going to change the sights on. As you can tell, still got the original sights on it. Uh, of course, it's got some wear uh, on it. I've had this pistol a long time, put a lot of rounds through it. Uh, this was my duty weapon for like five years. So that's one reason it's got a lot of wear on the slide. That holster will do a number on it, but. Anyway, of course, first thing you want to do is make sure it's safe. I don't have a magazine in, in the well. Put the slide back, make sure there's nothing in the barrel. And there's not. After you do that, dry fire your pistol. You want to take this slide, pull it back just a little bit, pull these two tabs down on the side, and your slide will come right off. And you take your spring, take your barrel out, And I'm going to take, uh, use this bias, and uh, I think I'll take the back sights off first. But let me get this set up in the vise, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I went to make sure I had the right size uh, deal for to punch my front side out, and I tapped on it, and it just came out, so I didn't get that on camera. Uh, so we got the front sight and the rear sight out. I guess I should have put the uh, the rear the new rear sight on while I had it turned the right way, but it won't take but just a second. So, all right, guys, I got the got the sights out. Where am I at? And I don't know if you can tell. Of course, the newer sights. I'll have this, this set screw, and it's a 3 16 Now, they do make a tool for this, but uh, I don't have one, and I'm not going to spend the money on one. So, what I have got here somewhere, oh, here it is, is I've got a 3 16 socket. Now, the walls right now are too thick to fit down in the slide properly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind these walls down and thin it out so that way it'll, it'll fit down in there so let me let me do that and I'll be right back hey guys oh uh, I want to show you, after you get your front side out, I want to show you, because these screws, I mean, are really, really, I don't know if you can even, really, really, really small. Now, if you want to try to put that screw in, you know, like this, and then put the side, 
you know, it's, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But what you can do is, let me see if I can do it right quick. It probably won't work out since I got the camera on. You take the screw and drop it down in your slide and take something and put the screw down in the hole. So, and then put your finger, or if your finger won't fit, whatever. So, uh, so the screw is sticking out like this. You put your finger on top of it, uh, and then you take your sight and go ahead and start. Where am I at? Go ahead and start the screw into your sight. And this screw is fairly long, so you can get several several turns on it. Uh, that's well, let me back it up one. All right, that's about my limit. So you push the sight back down into your slide, and then take your tool or your uh, socket and tighten your screw up. Now, normally what I do is I would put some Loctite, uh, uh, one little drop of Loctite on there, but unfortunately I'm out and I did not think about it before I started this video. So, alright. So we got the front side in, and I, I'm not, I went to somebody else's shop, uh, and I forgot a tool, so I had to go back to, uh, get my stuff so I went ahead and grabbed my punch. Now this is not a brass punch, which if you worry about getting scratches on anything, brass uh, brass would be the thing to use. So I'm gonna use my punch. All right, let me get this uh, get this set up and we'll put the uh, put the rear side in. Hey guys, I just heard it thunder, so I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to take my pistol out and uh, shoot it to check my, my side alignment on there, but uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I'm gonna because there's a window over there. But I'm gonna turn these lights out and see if you can see the night sights. I doubt you can because that window in the back does not have a curtain over it. I I couldn't see it in the camera, so we'll have to. Do that later. Uh, but anyway, you just, you just put your uh, put your uh, pistol back together. Slide your uh, slide your barrel back in. And it's a lot easier when your hands work right. Uh, Glocks are extremely extremely easy to take apart and put back together. Get your barrel back in. Take your spring rod, which is what I call it. Uh, Mash it down. You see that? Mash it down, put it back in the little slot where it goes. I hate being blind. Light in here is not worth a flip. Put your slide back on. Rack it. <clears throat> and it's ready to go. Uh, but I tell you what, uh, I do like, I like these things. Now I have, uh, I did try these at the house. Uh, and and the uh, the glow was, was really good on them. Like I said, they're not made of tri uh, tritium, so you don't have to worry about busting a, a vial of radioactive goop. Uh, Like I said, I'm, I'm happy with these Fiaschis, man. I, I like them. And this is what, it, uh, I think I showed you this before, but this is the kind they are. And this is, uh, like I said, I got a Glock Model 22. Uh, I ordered these off of Amazon. Uh, they were uh, $34, which is a good price. Uh, they're, they're well made, 
they fit they fit perfect so uh, anyway guys uh, I don't know if the weather's gonna be able to co uh, is gonna cooperate with me so I can go out and, and test fire this thing and, and check my sights but uh, I would highly recommend these uh, Fiasi sites got a really good price like I said you can order them off of Amazon 